In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best DJ software for beginners, and you can actually get started using it today for completely free. And this software is actually called Virtual DJ. Now, if you type that into Google, you can actually head over to their website, and you'll be brought to this page. And you can simply download it for free by clicking this download button down here. Once you've got it open, it will actually look something like this. And from here, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So to start with, you want to create an account and you can do that by clicking this button up here. And when you successfully signed into your account, it will actually give you a 30 day free trial, which is great because this gives you plenty of time to try out all the features and see if you actually like it before you commit to using it. Now you can also change the layout up here in the top left and there's actually four different options. So you can choose starter and this is just a really basic layout. And this can be good if you are a beginner because it means you won't be overwhelmed by all the knobs and different buttons that are usually on there. Now you can also change it to Essentials, which will give you some more options. But I tend to use Pro because it gives me all the options that I need, and I think it looks the best. However, you can also choose Performance, and that's similar to Pro, but it's a more compact version. So when you plug your USB in, you can actually find that on the left-hand side over here in the bottom. And you can simply choose Local Music, and then you can choose Drives. And here you can see all of the drives that you currently have. And as long as your USB is plugged in, you should be able to click it and you'll now be able to see your music in this section here. Now, a cool thing about Virtual DJ is they actually allow you to get online music as well. So you could simply click on SoundCloud and then you can click here to log into your account. And if you've already got a load of playlists already on SoundCloud, you can simply just select them and that saves you having to get a USB with all your songs on it. Now, it's going to be a bit slower to load if you do use this method. So you will have the best user experience if you actually use a USB, but this is an option if you need it. So you can load up the music by either dragging it like this, or if you've got a load button on your controller, you can click that instead. And from there, you can click play, and as long as you have connected your decks, it will now work. Another cool feature of Virtual DJ is they actually allow you to record. So if you wanted to record a mix or something like that, you could simply choose the file name and choose where you want to save it. And you can also select the format and then choose start record. And then when you actually start playing the song, it will start the recording, and you can end it by coming back on this page and choosing to end the recording. This can be really good if you're trying to get a following because this will allow you to post your mixes on SoundCloud or something like that. And people can then listen to them and if they like them, they can then follow you. But all in all, I just think this is a really good DJ software for beginners. And I think the user interface makes it easy to see everything and it doesn't make everything all complex. So this has been my video showing you the best DJ software for beginners. If you found this video helpful, please comment down below to say I helped you out and like and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.